right now, no more fear in Egypt. All the Egyptians wake up. No more fear. No more fear. We want this man and his people to get out of this country. Can we get your name? My name is Mahdi Mohammed. And what is your job? You have a job? My job? I call people to Islam. Ah, okay. This is Stephen Farrell reporting for the New York Times in Cairo. Ten days after met Mahdi Mohammed in Tahrir Square, he got his wish. President Hosni Mubarak stepped down after three decades of autocratic rule. I visited him later at his restaurant in Giza, where the pyramids appear unexpectedly on the skyline around every corner. The restaurant is his income, but Islam is his calling. There is a TV station. I do a program for it. Every day comes called Advice of the Day. Mr. Muhammad lived in the United States and has an American wife and children. It frustrates him that when he goes to the United States, he is told, welcome home. But when he returns to the land of his birth, he is often detained because of his heavy beard. So when he saw the lead taken by the youth of Tahrir Square, he quickly joined them, realizing that they had tapped into national grievances, jobs, money, freedom, that capture the imagination of millions. First day, I couldn't believe that this is going to happen. And then when I saw on the TV that things are getting serious, then I said, I have to be a part of this. I have to share. I have to say no. And I have to advise whoever there, because this is the time when everyone should speak up, because I wanted to see my country live in the freedom. Mr. Muhammad is a follower of the Tablig, an avowedly non-violent, non-political Islamic group with its roots in India. Is this about making Egypt a better country? Is it about yes. making people better Muslims? No, 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 no. What, what, no it has happening? nothing to do with uh, uh, religious matters, no. This is, uh, honestly, some people say it's a chance that we have to put the rules of Islam now and start. And I myself say, no, it's not a chance. And it's not ready, and it's not yet. God knows, maybe 100 years, 200 years, you know, because people are not ready. But I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about the freedom. I have the right to speak up. I have the right to, the right to say, no, you're wrong. I have the right to say, why do, you, why do you talk to me rude like that? This is my responsibility, to explain to people what is freedom, to tell the people that we have to build up Egypt to be a better country.